So, I've been very distracted. I now went from being very distracted, barely getting anything done, not to having any time to do whatever thing I wanted to do, feeling overwhelmed, not making any progress, any meaningful progress with my goals, or maybe even not any progress at all. And I went from this to being extremely productive, getting a lot of things done fast and efficiently. I was able to do so much more in my business, get so much more done. It was crazy. And I was able to do this while doing even more things that was, had nothing to do with my business, right? I watched four movies, I slept longer, I went for longer walks, I slept for one hour more, I stretched for one hour every day. All of this while feeling awesome and I got to actually more things done. And I was able to go from this distracted, like not getting anything done, to being extremely productive thanks to this habit tracker and reward system that I created and I used this week. And I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to actually give you access to the system. It's a basically, it's, it's, it's a spreadsheet. I'm going to tell you in this video how to use a spreadsheet, why it works so well, why this reward system works so well, and um, how to use it and how to create the good reward for you, right? Because you don't want to, you know, misuse the system as well to actually like make you do progress without harming your progress. Maybe you're already making progress. You don't want to make, do something that will jeopardize your success, your, uh, you know, your product, product, real productivity, by the way, I'm, I'm French, not a native English speaker, but I think it's still going to be very useful to you if you still listen to me. And by the way, you can right now, you can get the system. You can get the reward system in the link in the description, right? Now, there might be, uh, there might not be the exact link, right? But you can just basically copy paste, remove the, the spaces and uh, get the link. This is because I, I think um, YouTube decreases the reach of uh, videos when uh, there's a link in the description. At least this is what I've tested. And so, yeah, by the way, if you're new here, hey, welcome. My name is Avali Sacco. I'm the founder of origrowth.com and here I help you become truly free and successful and make more progress with your goals. And I help ambitious entrepreneurs build an empire. And even if you're not an entrepreneur, just live an awesome life a, life, a life that is worth suffering for because life is a lot of suffering and we might as well make it worth it. If you want to make more progress with your goals, just like this kind of things that I talk about just right now with this spreadsheet, with this reward system, hey, subscribe. You're going to get a lot of value from this podcast. So I'm going to tell you about the reward system, but first you need to know why it works so well to understand really that what's, what's behind it right? Well, it's just a reward that is behind an action, right? It's just, you're going to put a, a detailed action that you need to take and have a detailed and precise and specific reward that is going to come from this, right? Now, the reward, you don't want the reward to be anything, right? You want the reward to be positive, so quite desirable and so at least a little rare, right? You don't want it something that you always do and you want something that you would give yourself. It's just like a dog, right? You want to teach a dog to do a certain trick. Yeah, you, you, you want him to sit at this time. You tell him to sit. Once he sits, you give him a reward, right? And you, you're going to do basically the exact same thing for yourself. But there's a little nuances to that because you might reward yourself not in the right way. And this is why I'm telling you exactly how to, like what kind of, what, what characteristics the reward must have. So it must be positive, right? So desirable and quite rare. Something that you don't usually do. So if you often, uh, you know, if you really like, watching Netflix, but you, you always watch Netflix. It's not a reward, right? It's like, oh, if, it, if I don't do this, do this action, I'm still going to watch Netflix, right? You want something that you will not do if you don't do the action, right? Now, you don't want to turn this into a punishment, right? You want to be a positive reinforcement, not a negative reinforcement. 
You want it to, if you do this, you're going to get that and that's awesome. And it's going to make you push to yourself toward that. And if you don't, you're not going to get it. But it's not something that is going to punish you, right? It's not like, oh, you're going to have to uh, you do something that you really hate, right? This not, it doesn't work the same way. Now, the reward also uh, must not be something that you would do if you don't do the action you said you would, right? So, just what I told you right now. And it must happen, the reward, you must get, give yourself the reward right after the behavior. This is the best thing. Now, if you, if you can't do it right after your behavior, you need to link it, like mentally know and tell yourself, okay, because I got this task done, I have won the right, I have unlocked this reward, right? I now get to eat this, ha, because I've done that. And you mentally like link it, right? You okay, I did this for seven days straight. I've done all the, the, the deep work that I need to do, for example. Right? This is what I did for me, right? I said to myself, okay, I need to do six deep works, deep work every single day this week. I did them and then boom, reward. And I was like, okay, I know this reward is because I did that. And uh, I didn't give myself a reward immediately after, even though my, I might have done by watching movies, right? So when I was, uh, I did the work, and then after I, I got the job done, I ate. And I ate while watching a movie. I was like, okay, I, I deserve to watch a movie because I've done the thing that I need to do, right? And by the way, I'm also going to tell you how to plan at the end to tell you exactly like how to set the the tasks that you need to do right to have to plan efficiently to actually be able to take action on the thing that is going to get rewarded now so i told you like okay you need to make the reward either right after the action that you took this is the best thing right because if you like it's easily correlated in your mind if you, okay you, you did a great workout, right? This is the action that you want to reward more of, right? And you did it, and right after it, you eat a donut, right? Now, might not be productive to eat a donut, but if you reinforce this behavior, at one point, you just you will like going to the gym in the first place. So, in the short term, it actually works. Or maybe it's something else that is more he healthier, right? Because you don't want to put as a reward something that would, would yeah something that will trigger any kind of addiction you don't want to put this into the reward system right you don't want to put this as a reward for you okay so if you you've been addicted to alcohol you you're just an alcohol uh, alcoholic and uh, if you get the work done then you reward yourself with a drink if you think this drink will trigger again your addiction, you don't want this to be the reward, right? You want you want it to be something else. Or you want to be really clear and straight up like, okay, this is the amount of reward I'm getting. I'm getting one drink and that's it. And you know you're going to stick to it. Then let's go, do, do this. Now, I would really suggest you don't do this with alcohol because alcohol has so many negative sides, so many negative consequences that it's not, uh, this is the kind of, reward that it would be not worth it. And this is one of the characteristics of the reward that you don't want to have. So this is, you don't want it to have a negative side that makes it not worth having. So it shouldn't make you, it shouldn't make, it shouldn't make it harder for you to get to your goal, right? It shouldn't make it harder for you to work. It shouldn't distract you more than it's going to allow you to, be, to become focused. So for me, for example, I, I did it in this way. The reward I took was the, actually the, the action, first of all, I, that I wanted to reward was the deep work and getting actually like the, the goals of my week done, right? I had some goals uh, that I needed to achieve, some milestones in my business and I was not achieving them. And so I wanted to reward that. I wanted to reward the progress towards my goal. And so to do that, I, I told myself, okay, I need to do deep work every single day. Six deep work every single day. I, I did, 
And this is the action that I want to reward. So I told myself after seven days, because honestly, to, to me, I was already making deep work, but I was not uh, making enough of them, right? So I was like, if I do this consistently every single day this week, I'm going to reward myself with one protein bar. And to me, it's awesome. To me, I, I never like, to me, this is like, ah, oh, the protein bar. It's awesome. It's just like, it's tasty. It's so good. And this is to me, right? Because I just eat meat and rice. That's the only thing that I, I eat. And so this is very tasty and very, very desirable to me. And I told myself, I'm going to eat one, right? Not two, not three, one at the end of the week. And so I did that and I just loved getting my reward and being like feeling like I deserved this protein bar. Now, for me, if I didn't, for me, I could have done like, for example, donuts, right? I love donuts, but I know this would most likely trigger again my, my addiction towards sugar. I knew this would make me fog, make my brain foggy, feel like down the next day. I know what, how I react to this. So the, the risk to reward the, you know, the, the benefits and the negative consequences of having a donut for reward, reward was not great for me, right? The ratio is not good. So to me, I did not do a donut because it's not, it has too many negative consequences to me. It might not for you, right? If for you, it's, it's okay for you, do that. I don't care. But to me, it was a protein bar. This is a tasty protein bar. This is like really awesome protein bar. I loved it. And so, yeah, this is how I did it. And the best way I found also to reward yourself, like, I actually reward myself every day. Right after I got the deep work done, I reward myself. And you know, it's a simple reward. It just, I just checked the box on my deep work. Like I, I've just put like six boxes, right? On paper, I, 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 drew, I drew six boxes. And every time I finished one deep work, I just checked one box, right? And this check gets you a little reward. Like, oh, cool, I got this done, let's go. Let's keep making progress. And then at the, the end of the day, I have a spreadsheet that I use. And this is the reward system that I told you about. You can get in the description right now. And this spreadsheet is uh, one of the best things that I did. I, this is because of the spreadsheet that I had. I mean, I had the, the idea of rewarding myself last week. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to put it on my habit tracker. So this is a, a spreadsheet that I use to track my habits. What time I wake up, what time I go to sleep. Uh, and so it uh, calculates automatically how much time I was asleep and um, how much deep work I, I did, uh, the, the amount of things that I got done, my focus, my energy, my positivity, my confidence, my all these things I've wrote down in them, and I've put a, um, I've, um, how do you say that? Well, I've just made it so that the um, the boxes right of the of the spreadsheet become a different color depending on what is the content of it, right? So if I had uh, zero focus. If I was completely distracted in the focus column, I would I would put a zero, right? And a zero would uh, put the box in red, right? As uh, when I hit zero and this when I write zero in this um, box, it becomes red. When it was I was pretty focused, but not totally, right? Not fully focused. I put zero point five, and this becomes an orange. And if I, was, if I was really focused, right? If I really, really was focused, I put a one. And this becomes, the box becomes green. And this allows you to like be rewarded at the end of the day. Okay, so, so I was really focused, boom, one, let's go. I, um, I was really positive, one, let's go. And at the end of the week, I've uh, turned that into a score, right? A percentage on how was how good was this week to me. 
And so you can basically just personalize this to your liking. You can get right now, like in the link in the description, you get the, the you get a spreadsheet, you make a copy to get it for yourself, right? To get the, your own copy. You go in file, make a copy, and you, then you get it. And then you change it the way you want to, right? You have some behavior that you want to increase, right? For me, it was focus, energy, positivity, confidence, and um, no distractions, S some things like this, right? Some columns, and then in it, I put zero, 0 0.5, 1. And also, I put, um, I made it so that in, um, in the sleep, in the, 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 the sleep time, right? When I go to sleep at 9 p.m., it's in green. If I go after 9.30 p.m., it's in orange. Oh, no, it's, it's in red, right? Yeah. If I go before 9, 9 uh, p.m. to bed, it's in green. If I go after 9 p.m., it's in red. Or between 9 and 30, it's in orange. 9 and 9.30, it's in orange. And then after 9.30, it's in red. So, you see... This way, you can also increase your standards because it makes it very clear, right? You want it. You want your standard to be sleeping at 9 p.m., right? And so you put you reward yourself for sleeping at 9 p.m., right? So if you sleep, if you put in your spreadsheet, and by the way, this is what you do at the end of the day, right? I do this uh, once in the morning, real quick, depending on like to just put my the time at which I woke up, basically, and at the time at which I started to work. And this is it. This is the only thing that I do in the morning. It, it basically like takes you two minutes a day to do. And uh, and you do it at the, at the end of the day. You write the things down and there you go. You, you are rewarded. Every time you go to sleep before 9 p.m., you are rewarded. And so it increases your standard. You want your standard to be extremely focused. You don't accept anything else but one. But just a bunch of ones in the focus columns. Every, the entire week, right? And so this allows you to just be extremely focused, get a lot of things done. But to be able to do that, you first need to know what to do, right? To know exactly what to work on and how, and basically planning your week in the right way, right? To do that, I used to have tasks, um, for certain days, right? So, right before this week, I usually just, okay, say, okay, Monday is gonna be for this, Tuesday is gonna be for that, and before that, of course, I just tell myself, okay, what's the, what's the goal? And this goal, you just basically, I'm gonna tell you exactly the, the, pro, the new process, right? You, we don't care about it before. So, now, what I do is that I ask myself, first of all, I block out. I block out time in my calendar, right? This is the most important thing. And um, in my calendar, d during the week, I put the exact times at which I'm going to work. And to me, it's doing deep work. Deep work for me is 40 of my, 45 minutes of pure, deep, focused work with no distractions. And then after this 45 minutes, I take a five-minute break, right? I go wash up, I go to the toilet, I drink water, I do all these things. I do squats, jumping jack, just, you know, move a little bit. And then I go back and focus again for 45 minutes. And I do this six times every day and uh, this is uh, i've put it exactly at which time at which time in the, my calendar i'm going to do this and so to me it's always uh at seven from seven to uh, i don't know like uh, 11 and then again at uh 2 p.m i'm not sure about the timing but i just basically got it on the, on the calendar and once you've blocked out this time you know exactly when you're going to work. So this is good. This is defined. Cool. Now you need to know what you what are you going to do during this work, right? What are you going to work on? And uh, so to do that, I ask myself, okay, what is the one essential thing that I need to do this week that would make everything else easier or necessary toward in my business, right? So... You can ask yourself this question, basically just set yourself the goals. What are the goals for you for for you this week, right? The goals that you want to work toward this week. What are them? And then you prioritize them. You put yourself, okay, and the first thing, the most important thing is this. And so you put in a sequence all of your goals. 
After that, for each goals, you put what tasks, what needs to happen in order for you to get this goal, like to actually get this goal, right? To make this, like the goal is basically a big task, right? And then it, it, you chunk it down into smaller tasks, smaller achievable tasks. And so you do this for each goals. And so now you have them in a priority in, in, the, in the sequence. All you have to do now is put the correct, like determine and define how much time each smaller task is going to take you. To me, I count this in deep work because I basically know how much I can get done in a deep work session, right, in 45, 45 minutes. And so I, I list like, okay, this, this thing, I need to get this done. This is going to take me two deep works two deep work sessions, right? This is going to take me two deep works and this one is going to take me one. This one is barely like, I can do this like in barely, barely 20, 20 minutes, right? So I put 0 0.5 deep work, right? And so when you put this this way, because you know how much time you have, right? So you know how much of these tasks you're going to be able to get done at the end of the week and you can adjust accordingly. Now, of course, it's going to, sometimes you need to, really think of each individual task, how much time it's going to take you, because sometimes if you, if you think of the goal, you might think that the goal is going to be able, easily achieved just in one day, right? In one or two days. But this is a planning fallacy. You don't see all the little details that you're going to have to go through to actually achieve your goal. And so this is why you need to specifically mark the, like define how each single little task are going to take you. Once you're doing that, all you have to do is just go through the week and you go through the week in the way that, okay, you the, the first thing, the most important thing, because you've prioritized your tasks, right? You do this first and then you do the second one. And this, by not putting a, just a, um, what I used to do is that I would, tell myself, okay, I need to go to do this, this day, right? And this day is just too broad. If I tell myself I have this much time to do this task and I know if I don't do this task in this much time, I will have less time to do all the other ones. And so I'm just basically just getting late, right? And making my goal just being like further down the line, like just making it take longer than it should. And so it forces you to actually work faster. And when you know if you do this one well, if you do this deep work and you do get this task done, you get rewarded, then you are just really, really looking forward to do this. You are really, really looking forward to actually get things done. Like you, you're, just, you're craving the reward, right? And so you do the work. If you do this in this way, it becomes really easy to be motivated and you're just really really like looking forward and you move faster and everything just goes faster honestly so this was a the thing on how to reward yourself and how to define what to reward yourself on well, yeah basically by planning the right way and so yeah this was extremely useful to me if it's if you think it's going to be useful to you please like like subscribe share it with someone and get it in the link and just actually use it like start today use it and uh, tell me what you think about it tell me what you think uh, about it in the comment section i'd love to know about it and if you want to subscribe to not mix to not miss the next episode take care bye bye